Hi guys, so just real quick, I wanted to share this with you before it becomes old news. Um, I've done stuff about psychic attacks before, but this is like actually quite recent. Um, three events that happened back to back in Thailand where I, I did actually experience this. And I was like, what? You know, what is going on here? So I wanted to share the three incidences in brief, but then also what is it that one has to do in order to deal with such a situation? Well, <coughs> excuse me, in all honesty, it really does depend on the nature of the situation. Like, why is it that you are dealing with such a thing? Um, so it can be very specific. However, one of the situations was very interesting because it actually happened on social media. Two of them actually happened on social media. One of them was by somebody who um, proclaims to be in very high up places, like he seems to be an advanced yogi of some sort. And I was doing a line of, um, on, my, on my timeline, I was doing like a little series of posts um, to do with um, new age bullshit truths that are supposedly truths but are in fact are not truths. And I can't remember which number it is, but um, one of them is, one of them states, there is no hierarchy in spirituality, none at all. That's like one of the posts that I did. So I'm sort of po poking fun at the fact that, in fact, there is hierarchy in the spiritual movement, that there can be. And... Um, Somebody who proclaims to be a, a high up yogi, as I have said, came in and joined into the conversation who isn't actually a friend at all, but somehow joined into the stream of uh, comments and conversation. And um, <clears throat> was very polite to begin with, in fact, but then became quite nasty. He decided that he would try and do some um, advertising on my timeline, which, you know, I wasn't very happy about. And so I very politely asked him not to do that because my timeline is just for like basic stuff for the general public, you know, not too deep, poking a bit of fun at times. <clears throat> and he got very nasty about it and actually threatened to use black magic or put a spell on me because I had spoken to him the way I had. So what a beautifully illustrated example, don't you think? Like somebody who proclaims themselves to be a very advanced, a very unconditional love yogi person who decides to be very spiteful and attack me on my own timeline. So whoever you are, my friend, thank you for beautifully illustrating the um, spiritual new age bullshit that I was actually uh, making a series of on my timeline did that very well, but there was a psychic attack as a result of that. So that's number one The other one that happened was um, it came from um, a client's ex who uh, Decided that because I had Helped my client with the situation that they were dealing with that it was actually my fault that I was accountable for their split and so, um, again, it was very sly, it came in as a kind of um, a private message on Facebook and um, it started off very politely and then around the back became very, very unpleasant indeed. And so I ended up um, blocking the person and unfriending them from my timeline. So there you go, you've got two social media ones in the bag, two psychic attacks. And the third situation was live. It actually happened in Thailand where a lady that I don't even know just came up to me whilst I was swimming in the ocean and um, told me how I should and should not dress like my attire for the beach, what it is that I should and shouldn't do. Uh, because, you know, the way that I was dressed or perhaps I wasn't dressed adequately enough for her particular standards and said to me that um, I am very offensive to the Thai people because of it. Um, and so I began again by being very polite, telling her that it was none of her business and um, that I didn't actually appreciate her opinion at all. And she carried on insisting, telling me that I must appreciate the religions of others. And that's kind of when I lost it. 
and actually said to her, well, to be honest with you, I don't have too much respect for the whole game of religion because they are actually systems that are created by man so that they can dominate and control. Well, her jaw almost dropped down to her ankles with that comment and she just kind of walked away with her tail between her legs. Now, um, those three incidences, they did actually bother me, you know, they got under my skin. So the reason that I'm sharing that with you is because then I had to sit down with myself and say, okay, what is it within me that actually maybe provoked, and I don't mean I deserved it, but provoked that energy or that, you know, that frequency into my space? Where was that all coming from? Why did it happen? Three independent events that were all under the um, umbrella of some kind of psychic attack. So what I did was I went to the con corresponding areas within and cleared it all up and also found the causative factors of why it is that they were actually occurring. And um, it does seem that there is some, some kind of a corresponding factor whereby um, people of a lower vibration perhaps look at what it is that I am and am not doing and maybe projecting um, frequencies of envy towards my space. Now, this has been happening for forever times anyway, since um, I improved my health and came out of the MS and made such drastic improvements with my life, my health and my lifestyle. So um, I can understand why that's happening. But sometimes, you know, um, frequencies of envy, they can filter through and uh, they can affect you on an energetic level. So this was the deal in my case, and so um, I reflected deeply upon it and um, went deeply inside and uh, began to recourse of how it is it is affecting me and, and why it is at this level of my development that I'm experiencing psychic attack, which I haven't experienced in a very long time. But you know, it's like stages of the video game. I have said this before whereby, you know, as you advance, things will happen, but at a different level. So I invite you to look closely and deeply as to why it is it's happening to you, if it is happening to you. And if the reason is so deep that you can't, um, you know, facilitate it, facilitate it or change it yourselves, then don't hesitate to be in contact and perhaps I can assist you in dealing with it if you need to. Otherwise, if you don't, then uh, tackle it at the root and, um, you know, you stop that stuff, you know, cut it right at the root and don't let it happen to you anymore. So just wanted to get that message through to you guys. Thanks for watching. I am Helen Christodoulou. I am a transformational alchemist of all kinds of stuff. So you can contact me if you need to, as I said, prescribe to my... Uh, YouTube channel which is Helen Christodoulou. You can comment on this video on there and also don't forget to like and follow on Periscope if you are watching on there. So have an amazing day. I will get back to you with my cosmic forecast as soon as I'm able but for now it's allow the truth to be that primary force that always guides you and I'll get back with you again real soon. Take care for now. Have an awesome rest of this day.